luck. I heard people say I'm the luckiest man on the planet. I like to think I stay ready. A wise man once told me luck isn't some mystical energy that dances around the universe randomly bestowing people with satisfaction and joy. You create your own luck. Gotta get in my zone now. There's gonna be no talking. I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna think, and I'm gonna vision myself tearing this down. That's how you do it. You gotta vision it first. The truth about talent is, uh, first, that it's God-given. When you want to unleash that talent, your mind lets it go. You know, because it's there. You have to have the belief that when you uh, draw from that well of talent, that it's going to be there. You have to have that belief that when you go into the basket, no one that's on that court can stop you. Some people were born and put here to do certain things. I believe in karma. I just believe that, you know, what you put out in the world, you, you get back the energy you put in the world, you, you get back. Jay-Z started with an intention to reach an audience that he knew he could speak to. That's what I think he tapped into, the intention to speak to an audience. He had a dream, he discovered his talent, he found his audience. Even being turned down from a record deal didn't stop him, it propelled him. I had a really outside dream of being a millionaire by the time I was 30 years old. I actually calculated what uh, it would take and all these different things. And I had no idea, I had no plan of how I was going to arrive at this point. And when I first started making music, that's when I first realized that, you know, I was tapping into an emotion and I knew there was small pockets of people all across the country that I spoke to directly but I didn't have the vehicle to get to them. You know, I didn't have a record uh, label at the time, so I tried to get a, a record deal, and I couldn't get a record deal. The record company would be my bridge to them, and they didn't give me that bridge, so it was a very important part of my career that we didn't give up right there, that belief in myself and belief that I had something to offer, so we built our own bridge, and you know, I started my own record company. Only two things could get you through this, man. That's patience and persistence. Not easy, bro. This is right here we call a magic moment. Right now I'm thinking like, you know, where is this going? What does this track say? You know, I look I look at music like a puzzle, like I try to figure it out. You know, figure out what I'm going to say on it. Figure out the emotion of the track, what it's saying. Then I go through my rain, man. Can't explain it to y'all, man. I just it comes out there for me. I start mumbling. They say you put the right artist with the right track in the studio, leave the door crack and let God in. It's never been a nigga that's good for this long, this hood, for this pop, this hot, for this strong, with so Our job is to find that genius level talent and then to apply it in a way that supports that genius level talent. Quick example is a guy named Earl Manigo who was said to be way better than Michael Jordan, but he didn't make the lead, he was selling drugs, he got caught up in drugs, his circumstances got in the way. So you have to define, you have to find your genius level talent. Then you have to believe on it. Then you have to believe in it so hard because people will put their shit and their insecurities on you. Like when I was young, my uncle, I went to my uncle and uh, I had my demo tape, my first demo, I was really happy about this shit. You know? I played it for him, I, you know, I was like wide-eyed, I'm like, it, it went off. The first thing he didn't even say, uh, keep up the good work, he was like, man, you ain't gonna never be better than that, uh, <laughs> And I know he loved me, I forgive him for it, you know, but I think that something must have happened to him when he was trying to uh, pursue his dreams, it didn't work out for him, so he was putting that on me. Um, so you have to, even people that are close to you and love you, you have to have so much belief in this genius level talent that no matter what anyone says to you, you have to have this focus. So you have to find it. Yes! 
<laughs> then you have to believe in it. Then you can't let nobody put their insecurities and shit on you. Hell yeah. Then you Let's have to go. work. Just believe in your genius level talent. I believe in you. You just gotta keep your mind fresh and slay clear and you gotta stay forever young tonight and always. It's your dream. And I know a lot of you already probably accomplish amazing things and will Hell continue yeah. to accomplish amazing, amazing things. They don't want you to be inspired, those sort of people. They don't want you to be inspired. Always be inspired. But by far for me, the most important thing is inspiration. As an artist, if you ain't inspired the work, then you start thinking. Once you start thinking, you start forcing music. It's never good. My feeling is, whenever inspiration don't find you, you have to find it. Every now and again, I step outside of myself and I just look at my life objectively. Sometimes I find myself saying, who is that dude right there? Like, if you'd have told me 20 years ago that my life would be like this, I'm not sure I would have believed you.